Heart Lake. And we've walked probably about a mile already. Yep. Got another three to go. And the mosquitoes are killing us. Unbelievable. Feels like I'm in Alaska. They're everywhere. Just wetting down her bandana. It's so cold. Oh gosh, all the mosquitoes are around it's your head. Cold. Oh my god, it's nice. It feels really nice. Yeah, it sounds pretty. Yeah. So we have figured to keep some of the mosquitoes away. We're putting bandanas on our hats, covering our ears. It keeps away from our neck. In her ears and somewhat our cheek. Then I have a cool wrap on. She got her. I got mine wet and put it on my back. For now until she puts her backpack on. Yep. But the dang mosquitoes, man. I even bought uh, insect repellent pants yesterday. They're keeping off about 90% of the mosquitoes. Um, I wish I got the whole workup. Shirt, pants. Yeah. Hat, gloves, yeah. <laughs> shoes. It's crazy that there's mosquitoes up here, but we are about two miles in. We've hiked for, what time is it? An hour yeah, so far? Hour. Yeah. So two miles an hour. That's pretty good for us. Mm -hmm. um, uphill a lot of the way. We're at the top of some mountains here. And yeah, I'll turn the camera on and let you guys see. It's a nice little area on the trail to stop and have a snack. And it's so quiet up here. Except for the skeeters. <laughs> yeah. Skeeters are very chatty. All right. Are you ready to go on? Yeah, I think so. All right, we've hiked for about two and a half hours so far, about three and a half miles in. We got another half mile to go. Yeah. Uh, there was a good patch there where there wasn't any mosquitoes, mm -hmm. but they're back. <laughs> uh, we just decided to take a break, drink some water, eat some food, and then we're going to head off to the lake here in just a little bit. So it took us about four hours to get here, which is kind of what I thought it would. Mm -hmm. um, we found our camping spot. We're next to a couple people down there, and they have some horses and three dogs, so it's kind of fun to watch them. And then we have somebody out in a boat, if you can listen. 
don't know if you can hear that, but they're playing music very loud. It kind of... It's too loud to be in nature. You shouldn't have music when you're in nature like this. You should hear the birds and the chipmunks and the woodpeckers. But anyway, I will show you our campsite. All right, here it is. You don't have anything set up yet because we decided to go for our congratulatory chocolate bars. We're having half a chocolate bar now and then we'll have a half one when we're done tomorrow. Oh, there's the people with the radio. And I just heard one of them say, turn it off. So yay, no more music when we're out in nature. Anyway, here's our lovely campsite. It's warm in the sun, but it is nice and cool in the shade. It is great. And you're right next to the lake, so you get a nice breeze. And there's, I haven't noticed mosquitoes here yet, which is surprising me. But there's a lot of dragonflies, and Ellen tells me that dragonflies eat mosquitoes. So we'll take dragonflies. But anyway, our tent's going to go here and we'll show you what it looks like when it's all set up later. We finally have our tent set up. It's an REI passage too. It's enough for two people in there. We got great little pillows, nice sleeping bags, a couple of mats, and enough room to see the stars that'll be out tonight. But right now we're gonna go down to the lake and we're going to filter some water and put it into our water bottles. A great view. I can't find it this I think the water filled up a bit. Oh, Ellen and I are trying to figure out how to get the pump working, or the filter. It worked last night when we tried it at home. Yeah, I don't know. And now it seems to go up, like halfway up the tube, and it just stops. So this is adventurous, but we did bring a backup. Yes. So we have tablets to use to make clean water, just in case, but we're gonna keep trying this a little bit, and hopefully it'll work. So basically, she just puts that in the water, like that. And then we pump. It's only really going up to like here. So we think something's wrong. But like I said, it worked last night. Huh? Well, we'll keep trying. We'll let you know what we find out. We are in our tent for a while. We spent about an hour trying to get this filter to work. Um, even had some hikers come by and they tried it and they couldn't get it to work either. But we have iodine tablets, so we use that in our water and they're sitting over there. We are right now having some snacks. Right now having some peanut butter and some banana chips. And Ellen just has some dry blueberries. And we're going to play Uno. Um, we're just sitting here in the shade enjoying the view and the quietness the peacefulness of here. All right, so this is all iodinized, has iodine in it. It's clean water to eat, but it has some floaties in it from the lake. So we're just using Ellen's clean bandana and filtering it into the other water bottle so we can have water without floaty stuff in it. Because really, who wants to eat chicken, or uh, not chicken poop? <laughs> We're not at home. Who wants to eat uh, fish poop? Okay, so we're getting another, I just got some more water from the lake. And we're using this. There we go. This is the first step, the iodine tablets. And you put two tablets um, in the water and then you, well, there's the instructions, basically you shake it a little bit and get the rim here wet, let it sit for five minutes and then close it up and let it sit for half an hour. And it makes the water a very interesting red color because of the iodine. So let me get the tablets for you. And 
these little black little tablets. Close it loosely and just kind of shake it once you got sad. So that way the rims get moist and then you let it sit for five minutes. It's that easy. Sounds like a waterfall, but it's just this big gust of wind just moving through the trees. It's like the trees are doing the wave at a baseball game. And then you have the wind coming across the lake. Sure is pretty here. potatoes and gravy with beef. It's good. It is really good. It looks like grossness in there. Mm -hmm. But it's really good. There's two servings enough for two people. It's a good dinner with a good view. over the branch so we can hang our food bag. Can she do it? Wrong side of the tree. <laughs> oh, <I love> <laughs> me. She almost killed herself. <laughs> Third time's the charm. Don't hit the tree. Uh, Fourth time's a charm. Is there a rock in there? It's right by your foot. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh. How about you just don't film this? <laughs> <laughs> um, it's not working. All right, food bag is hanging up. 10, 15 feet or so. Which is good. All right, and as we get ready for our evening, that pretty glow out there, 
It is about quarter to nine. We're in here because the Skeeters came back, so we're hiding from them. Um, and we're going to have a great view of the stars tonight if I move <laughs> my stuff <laughs> away from there. But as we're waiting for the stars to come out, we are playing a wicked game of Uno. We've already had all of those in the discard pile, and... <laughs> <laughs> We've had to reshuffle I to think create I'm losing. <laughs> to create more cards. But this is how we are spending our evening. Um yeah. so we will try to show you guys tonight, see if we can see the stars out. But that golden color is just gorgeous. But if we don't get the stars tonight, good night, and we will see you tomorrow as we trek out of here. Good morning everybody, it's day two of our camping trip. Neither one of us slept very well. Um, it was, the sleeping bags kept us warm and it got too warm so we put our arms out and then we froze, put our arms in. Um, so it was kind of tricky trying to get that temperature right. It was so peaceful though. The stars were out, I couldn't get any video of the stars. But um, we're getting the tent Dismantled here, getting our bags put up, and then we're going to boiling the last pot of water to fill up a water bottle, and then we'll make some dinner or breakfast, which will be here it is breakfast skillet, hash browns, scrambled eggs with pork sausage patties, peppers, and onions. Sounds really good, but here's <laughs> what it looks like in just a second. I was just shaking out the tent, getting all the stuff from outside because it was really windy yesterday and we had the doors open. So we're just shaking it out. She's got her pack. She only has just had to put a tent in it and some of her snacks. Here's mine. I just put the tent poles in it and then my little food bag in there. Um, so we should be ready to go in, I don't know, half an hour or so whenever we're done eating breakfast. They're all packed up. Ready to go? It is. What time is it? 8:36. We got on the trail yesterday at 8 a.m. So now mm -hmm. we're a half hour before behind where we were yesterday. Dang, my pack is unequal or uneven. Um, <coughs> but here we go, heading back home. Yep. Here's a picture of our campsite, all empty. And I'll show you pictures of like. It is nice and peaceful this morning. Goodbye, Heart Lake. You've been very restful and peaceful. I'm sure we'll see you again. All right. Back on the trail. It looks like it's all downhill from he now, from here. Oh my goodness. The trail's not that bad, but it's hilly. Yeah. Lots of hills yesterday coming up, which made for more downhills today. But you still got some uphills to do. But a nice downhill switchback. So we go that way and then we end up coming along the trail here, I believe. Yeah, and then the trail goes off that way. And in those trees is our car. Our car is way over there. It's right there. Yeah, we've done a little over three miles already. We got another, it's a little over a mile to do. It's 10.30. 
It's taken us two hours to get this far. It's a lovely day. All right, we'll see you at the car. It's about two hours and 10 minutes in. We're following the bend and we see horse trailers, which means the parking lot is there already. It took us half the time to come down from the lake than it did to go up. We are back in the car and check out Ellen's bug bites. Oh, I guess I have to switch the camera. Hold on. All right. Oh, gosh. Yeah. All those. And then your other arm is... Oh, we can see. Yeah. Yeah, just big welts. It's all swollen, too. Yeah, hot and itchy. And yeah. Here. Show mine. All right. Well, mine are half yeah. bad, but... Yeah. Both arms, too. And then Ellen's poor little face. Yeah. And her oh, neck. Oh. Yeah. Those. We weren't kidding when they said they were oh, all over. Those aren't pimples. And they're no, not. Those no. are bug bites. Oh. Yeah. But we're done with our 4.4 mile hike in. Hanging out and camping at the lake and 4.4 miles out. Four hours there. A little over two hours back. And now we're heading home. She's like, put it to drive. <laughs> We're tired. We didn't sleep last night. All right, guys. There was our adventure to Heart Lake near Lincoln, Montana. Come up and enjoy it. It's beautiful.